Hey, kids. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. 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 Right, Happy Friday. Here we go. I want to talk about your lesson today. Just to give you a little heads up, help you focus on all the content you need to accomplish today. So here we go. Uh, so first things first, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you are going to need to look at the to-dos, right? Um, there we go. So just for the to-dos here, you're going to watch the demo video. That's this right now. That's this. Um, you're going to complete a storyboard interpretation sheet. So you guys have seen that yesterday. What this is is just a handout in the class. It's got a storyboard and it has questions about how you would interpret that storyboard. What is that storyboard telling you? You're helping me know your understanding. <clears throat> Next, uh, you're going to review your trailer. Okay, you're going to review your trailer and make observations of the following because these are all important to have in your storyboard. Cut transitions, <clears throat> camera angles, camera movement, subjects and story elements, sets or locations, titles or text scrolling, and timestamps. The timestamp is when that particular scene happens in a trailer. So make sure when you go through and have um, a storyboard image, also write down what time is it on the trailer. So if the picture of Iron Man happens at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, just below the, the storyboard, write 2 minutes 15 seconds. Right? Keep that in mind. <clears throat> then you're going to plan out your storyboard and print or draw your storyboard template. So if you have a printer, print off the templates we used yesterday. They're also in the classroom here. Or you can start drawing your templates. Uh, it's totally up to you. <clears throat> Depends on what resources you have. Then you're going to go ahead and create your storyboard based on the trailer that you have reviewed. All right, guys, let's continue. Um, right here, this is your individual work. Okay. Task you must complete the attached storyboard interpretation sheet. Open up the worksheet in Google Docs. Review the storyboard image on the sheet. Then answer the questions below the storyboard image. Be sure to attach this or a link to this in the assignment today, and then you're going to turn it in. Task number two you're going to complete today. It's going to take about an hour, maybe more. It's up to you. Get the trailer that you're going to do queued up. So get it on your phone, get it wherever you're going to watch it. Then you should print or draw your storyboards. So print them off if you have a printer. If not, draw and prepare your storyboards. Think about how many images you want. That's going to be how many storyboards you need. <clears throat> Review the rubric, which we're going to do in just a second. Make your rough observations and notes, and then start working on your storyboard. Here we go. Storyboard frames. To get an A, you need 25 frames. That's a lot of pictures. Okay. Now, you could get an A and have 20 frames if your pictures are amazing. But if your picture is very simple and kind of basic and you have 25, awesome. <clears throat> That'll get you an A. 20 frames will get you a B. 14 frames will get you a C. And 10 frames will get you a D. Your drawings. You have subject or subjects. And in oh, look, there's a typo there. I'll fix that. Uh, pow! Okay, so when it comes to your drawings, your sub you have subject or subjects and environment, accurate camera angles, and accurate camera movement. That'll get you an A. You have a subject or subjects and accurate camera angles. That'll get you a B minus. If you lack subjects and or environment, you have inaccurate camera angles or framing and no indication movement. That'll get you a C or a D. Okay. <clears throat> Lastly, cinematic elements. You have transitions, subjects, sufficient images representing cuts, written explanations when needed, title screens, and camera movement. That'll get you an A. If you have transitions, subject, title screens, and camera movement, B. If you have limited transitions, missing subjects, limited images representing cuts, C. So that and drawings are pretty similar. Notice I didn't say awesome drawings, professional drawings, be the best drawer. <clears throat> no stick figures, but you can use uh, blobby people, and that is okay. Okay, what do you need to turn in at the end of class today? You need to turn in your final storyboard that you worked on today, photograph it, upload the images to Google Classroom. 
Uh, you also need to upload your storyboard interpretation worksheet. Those two things, that's it. I'm going to take your tenants based off of that. Good luck. We'll see you on Monday. Say what again.